Let's check out this cookbook. It's called Cook Korean. This is by Robin Ha, and it is a comic book with recipes. So there's a kid that streams a lot, or well, the parent streams the kid, and this kid can cook better than I can, and I think she's like three or four. And this is kind of what I'm thinking is like giving kids some inspiration to cook more or even me like this is going to be so much fun. It makes cooking fun. So let's look at what this actual book looks like. Here's some illustrations. I'm really excited. Here we do have a table of contents. So that's something. It's not just one story with recipes just kind of trickled through. There's a whole thing. So there's a chapter, an introduction that's talking about Korean cooking, Korean refrigerator, dried goods, meal guides, all kind of, kinds of stuff. Chapter one is kimchi and pickles. Chapter two is vegetables and side dishes. Chapter three is meat and poultry. Then we get to seafood, soups and stews, porridges, noodles and rice cakes, snacks and street foods. Then we get into cocktails and anju. Wow. And then we have Korean fusion. There's actually a lot of it. There's a lot of chapters. We have a list of all the recipes you'll find, including the page numbers, which will come in handy. And you'll see why in just a second. Here we go. Here's your introduction. Here's your ingredients. All of it's illustrated, but it's really fun and approachable. If you've never done Korean cooking before, uh, this might be a really fun way to memorize some of this stuff and just kind of be a little more in it. So like you've got this cute little <laughs> lady. She's like, oh no, what are you doing? And then he's like, what? Isn't it like making pasta? Uh, so this is how to make proper rice and that's really cute. So there's a lot of things that make it more memorable so that you know, oh, don't don't do X, Y, and Z when you're cooking Korean food. Um, so let's do kimchi and pickles. I actually thought this was a photo when I glanced at it. The illustrations are beautiful, as you can see. It's very just, I mean, you know what it is. So that's really fun. Intro to kimchi. There's a lot of history here. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to making some of your own Napa cabbage kimchi, which I need to do. This is something I'm really excited about. We have where it comes from, Korean food without red chilies. Wow. Here we have a cool and spicy cucumber, which they called, I'm I'm not sure if I can say this properly, it's oisobagi. Uh, so we have all the step-by-step -step photos here. Love it. So cool. Let's move on a little further. Pan-fried tofu. So this is a lot more of a cookbook than I anticipated. I thought there was going to be like this big comic story. No, this is a cookbook, very comic oriented, which is right up my alley. We have ginseng chicken soup. Again, step by step photos. It might seem really wild, but it's really not. And it's going to make I think it's going to just make it easier to remember things. You've got a cool visual and you're reading a comic. So you might even be able to say, oh, I know how to make kimchi, but I also know where kimchi comes from and how it was basically how it came to be. So that's really cool. So let's move on to some more things. We have a soybean paste soup with clams. I love the soybean paste soup. I don't add clams. I usually do pork, but it's really good. Here we have porridges, porridges for chapter six. Very cool. I want to show every single page because technically there is an illustration on every every page. Seafood mushroom porridge. So you see the ingredient list is in a very bold square. So it's easy to kind of get everything together. And then you just follow the step-by-step -step recipes here. And it, you have a visual of the steps as well. So it kind of makes it really fun. And if you're a very visual learner, this will be very nice to have. Dried noodles, so rice and noodle recipes. Uh, these are some of my favorites. There's rice cakes, which um, is a huge thing there. You can see there's like so many variations on how to make it. You can do sweet and savory. Spicy cold noodles. We have hand pulled dough soup. Let's do, let's go through a few more. We have snacks and street food, yum. 
Spicy rice cakes. Ooh, this would be super tasty. Uh, we have brown sugar sticky rice. Oh, so good. And one more. Here's the cocktails in Anjou. This doesn't look like a cocktail, but we'll see. Here we have watermelon soju. Ooh, that looks really good. There's Sprite, ice, soju. That would be a really refreshing drink to have this summer. This is a fun cookbook. I can't wait to look through this in more detail and kind of see what else they have in here. There's a lot of big Korean staples that they talk about in this book. Plus, there's, I mean, you get a foundation for Korean cooking, all of your staples, pantry ingredients, all of that, but illustrated. It's really fun. So this is Cook Korean. This is by Robin Ha. It's a comic book with recipes. It really is. It's so fun. So definitely pick this up. Uh, if you guys are wanting more cookbooks, though, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and our Amazon Live channel. We have a lot of stuff going on over there. More than just cookbooks, we have gourmet foods, cookware, dishware, lots of stuff to get you inspired to cook recipes. And we obviously do cookbooks over there, too. Make sure to keep watching. There might be a cookbook that maybe you didn't know about that you might actually like. And make sure to comment and subscribe. Let us know what cookbook you want us to look through next.